Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is another comment video. Okay, let's get started. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I came home from job number 2, and I was just really sleepy. And I, I went to sleep at like... And then by the days being weird, it seemed like it's later than what it is. I think I went to sleep at like 7.30, and now I'm up. And then I got up to go to the bathroom. That's really what happened. And I realized that I got this... Remember, I told you I was doing afternoon tea, and I didn't do my nails. I had zero nails on. My hair was you know it was just work hair you know what i'm saying i didn't really curl it i just kind of took my scarf off and went to work so i had to get up and get myself together for my tea time because you know i put in effort for everything else so why not put effort into myself for something that i really want to do and i'm excited about it because i just like little things like that and I'm rambling because I'm trying to find my place. <laughs> Hold on, I'm almost there. Okay, Freddie Edwards is going to start us off. He says, Cody knows he ain't ish for playing Mac like that. Uh, telling Mac that he's not his biological father when the fact that he really is Cody's father. All Cody is worrying about is the necklace. After today's episode of November 18th, Victor eavesdropped. Yes, he sure did. Eavesdropped on the conversation between Britt and Cody talking about the diamond necklace. Victor's going to find a way to get the necklace, and when he does, he might use that, the Ice Princess, to control, the free, control and freeze the world. We'll just see how all of this will play out. I'm glad you said that, yes, with this machine. Do you guys think that they're doing this now y'all know we don't talk about political things but it just seems like little storylines kind of go that way a little bit without being so obvious do you guys think it's like more of a uh they're doing this freeze control the world thing and they're bringing it back now in particular because of the climate change and all that stuff that's been you know we've been talking about for years put it in the comments do you think that has something to do with it like i said you know our soap operas the general hospital is no different they like to stay current and in the forefront of things and i just find it interesting i don't know or is it just how i think probably just me but if you agree or disagree put it in the comments i just think maybe they're doing this to maybe is this an awareness thing at the end of it all like are we gonna learn something <laughs> at the end of this um and yes, Freddie, I find Cody to be, you know, today, I have to go to, to back to Cody, back to Freddie's comment, because today I wanted to punch him in the clavicle more than ever before today. You know, first of all, he said, I should stick around since it's got something to do with me. Um, are you paying her? Did you hire her? If it's something I want you to know, I'll tell you. You know, I really I understand where Britt's going. She feels like she's not long for it and she feels like well let me do a good deed this man is you know hard on his luck and if this is his inheritance let me give it to him like she said i thought i was gonna have a windfall child but here you take this you know bless her heart for that but i'm telling you i'm so glad sam is back where is snow white because this is her time to shine honey if you listening to me snow white please drop something in the comments to let me know you still with me um she was one of my earlier G. I I mean, she was something else. I haven't heard from her in a minute in the comments. But anyway, um, she's always champion for Sam and the original Drew, Billy Miller. But I'm sure if she's watching General Hospital, she's loving today's episode with Sam and her blue jean skirt. And I, Sam is making me want to bring back blue jean chic. Don't act like we don't remember them times, ladies. I might try to copy Sam in that skirt. It was absolutely amazing the way she put that together. Um, but I liked the way Sam called him out. She was like, listen, you just skydived. Same thing we've been saying in the comments, that didn't it? You done skydived in the swimming pool. All of this is probably a ruse. You probably started this from the beginning. And I don't think it's a coincidence. Do you think it's a coincidence that Victor is eavesdropping at Brits? office no it's not you guys he's working cody is working with victor on this for sure and i hope sam can do something about this and thank goodness for austin and it, he said listen i got somebody coming for you right now we're gonna see for sure if this is what you got so let's hope that this person that austin is bringing in will tell us you know what's going on with our brit because i really don't think she's sick i think because what did he came in with something to eat and something to drink for her did y'all notice that in today's episode jazz festival says i agree with you baroness holly's acting is awful yes it, it, okay i found out something today i'm going to get to the comments because i did skim through the comments and um 
it it is very subpar, but it's a reason for it. I don't remember how she was before this. I haven't seen Holly on screen in a long time, so I can't really compare it to just, I'm only comparing it to what I've seen today. But it's a reason why she's like this, and I'm getting to it in a second. Evelina Garcia says, well, Baroness, you know, when Gladys was blackmailing Sasha or somebody, she had their business card and was going crazy. Oh, yes. Um, it was Brooklyn's. She had Brooklyn's card, and she was she was spinning up a storm. Um, I just couldn't believe that they let her have control of Sasha's money. Hopefully, she's a card shark because, you know, she used to play people back when. I know that Gladys is supposedly supposed to be real good, but you know who is going to bring Cody in, and he's supposed to be, like, the best. So let's just see what happens, man. I really am worried about Sasha and that money. Sandy Moon says, hey, Baroness, totally agree with you about Holly. Robert found out she's working with Victor. I'm so glad. I cannot wait until Monday's episode. And we're going to talk about spoilers and recaps this weekend. So maybe her time is coming to an end. Cunning Cody is, oh, he makes me sick, sly, sick, and wicked, and Sam is on to him. But there is something in his past that involves Dante. I know that she won't investigate. Have a great weekend, Baroness. Thank you. You too, honey. That's right. What did Dante do? That's why she told Spinelli. She said, no, nope, just hold on for a minute because whatever you find out about Cody may um, mess up Dante, and the records are sealed. So we'll have to see about that. Maybe she can talk to Olivia or no, forget that. Just talk to your man, girl. Be like, listen, what did you, you what what happened? Did you do something when you were younger? She just needs to come out and ask him. Sam's not a stupid girl. She'll do the right thing. Barbara says, okay, another rumor I heard that Brit's disease is not Huntington's. It was set up. Hopefully the rumor is true and she doesn't have that particular disease. Here's what I'm hoping is going to happen. Like I just said, that Austin's doctor will prove that she doesn't have Huntington's disease. And in turn, Britt, because she's always been suspicious of Cody, and a lot is going on in Port Charles, she's been so consumed with the fact that she has this disease. Hopefully, once she finds out that she doesn't, she'll get on board with Sam. Sam will tell her, like, look, this is that, and this is this with Cody. And she can kind of, like, play Cody, you know, make him think that she's still whatever you know sick or whatever and oh man I really just hope they find out that, that she finds out that she's really not sick and they can wrap up this Cody thing and I feel so bad for Mac today Felicia is just as precious as she can be and she said you are allowed to grieve you this is a loss for you yeah um Robin says yeah Gladys will lose everything unless Sonny gets win this the shame is she cannot I'm sorry, she can have pretty much anything she wants, but greed will be her downfall time to write her out. The thing with Gladys, I'm trying to look at it from a mother's perspective. Um, she just lost her child, her only child. So she may be looking for some type of outlet, something to just, you know, I know it's the wrong thing to do. Maybe she should really just start sewing or knitting or get another job or something, but like some people turn to certain substances to deal with grief maybe this is going to be a gambling is sort of you know it's an addiction too so maybe this is like Gladys's story maybe this is her story you know what I mean um her issue Sasha dealt with drugs maybe Gladys's issue was gambling unfortunately it may come at a cost to poor Sasha unless like you said Sonny can do something about it uh, Robin Anthony says, I agree. I'm still trying to give her the benefit of the doubt on that. You know, I'm, I know what she's doing is awful and wrong and it's really going to hurt Sasha. But I'm hoping there's a reason behind it because she's grieving. She's looking for an outlet. She's trying to feel a void because she just lost her child. Oh, man, because I really like Gladys. I like the new and improved Gladys when she's, you know, family and Brando and how supportive she's been. So I would hate for her to turn back into like, oh, run her out of town, you know. I'm sorry, Robin Anthony says, I agree Holly's storyline sucks and her acting blah could be because of her COVID effects. This is it, you guys. So um, I did not know that the, she had COVID, um, Holly. So yes, um, let me finish. She says, I have to check some old clips. I don't think her acting was always bad. Other, other who she wouldn't have been on Dynasty. Right, Dynasty, Emma Sams. Right, what am I thinking? okay and 
Col- and the Colbys, but then again, I didn't watch those shows. I did, and shame on me. My mom would pop me upside the head. Also, I agree with you about Cody. I take everything back I said about, um, I don't, as the years go on, honest to God, everybody's just, it's a blur, especially when they jump from show to show. I'm sorry, I forgot it's Emma Sam's. I'm so sorry. I did not know that she had COVID. That is why her, we know that Emma Sam's can act. What? The, oh, Jesus, I'm so sorry. She had COVID, and that, listen, that takes a lot out of you, even when you recover from it. You're still, you can still be out of breath, fatigued. Um, So reading those lines for her, you know, that's probably why her lines are limited and short. And I, let's remember, as Dynasty fans, I just had a block. I'm sorry. Was, I'm old. I'm getting there. It's 2022. Dynasty was so long ago, and I was young when that was out. But, yes, we know she can act. She can act her A off. She's one of the best actresses in the universe, for God's sake. I do apologize. Um, I didn't know she had COVID, and that is why she, her um, performance on screen is coming off a little bit blah because she's recovering from it. It's, it's no, you know, the, the, the symptoms and everything may be gone, but you still have after effects from it pretty much so i didn't know that sorry you guys odessa is back okay odessa good listen keep this street coming you know we missed you odessa says no don't let her do that no i hope sunny stops her i i hope so too and she says i believe her mother her mother-in-law is gonna steal her money and lose her money i think it's gonna be more than the cash i think it's gonna be the deception shares sherry robinson says i read that holly has yeah long-term covid long-term COVID and that's why she's hold on I gotta make it speak I'm sorry it's 2 in the morning that's why she's going to do just short a short stint okay yeah I didn't know she had COVID um, Miss Maxwell says Wu saw Gladys coming but she's endangering her own life because of, yeah because she messes with Gladys and Sasha she messes with Sunny. I don't know what Miss Wu she must have a huge ace up her sleeve because she knows that Sasha is I, you know you're right Sunny and like I said this is something else that could bring Sunny and Ava together this right here I'm just saying artist 61 what did well they did say Holly in real life uh-huh, had COVID and was experienced the effects of long term COVID um, headaches memory loss etc so I guess cut her some slack yeah dear I didn't know that she had to COVID honey I think because Laura has been away she's seen things a little more clearly well, yeah, Laura don't like nobody messing with her family. Then the ones all caught up in Victor's crap. Yeah, you know what? Victor made sure that he planted and kept everybody occupied and busy except for Laura. He tried it. But he, like, you know, Laura went to see about her mom and now she's back. And, yeah, Victor's terrified. Um, She continues, I said in the last video, Gladys is going to lose all of Sasha's money and maybe her partnership too. Yeah, you did. And I really, really, really tried to give her i still hope that it's a grief thing that this isn't something that she's like is <sighs> this isn't malicious gladys from when she first came to town you guys this isn't this is grieving gladys so i'm still hopefully sunny can save her and then she uh, concludes says i love the whitney best experience in the deep perfect place for the bear this to get some pepper. yeah child i need a break because i can't shake off that vacation i still want to be on vacation you know the people over in europe they get a whole month did y'all know that they get a whole month of vacation and we sitting up i got a bed for the nine days that i'm taking next year oh i can't imagine how the two jobs gonna play me next year and because I was thinking about doing an eleven day extension, because if you do the eleven day extension, you can go over to uh, I think Amsterdam or something. But I don't know if the jobs will let me take off eleven days. I mean, I do have the time, but it's not really about if you got the time, is it? It's about if they can do without you for the time. So that's why I try to take all my time off in the fall before the holidays. I don't mess around with summer vacations because you know you got people that's got little kids and grandkids and they be out of school and I know people want to spend time with their little people in their lives and I don't really have any little people like that that I care to spend time with like like little baby Karen you know we hang out I'm gonna go see him later on but yeah so I try to be considerate of my co-workers and I know they got little people that they can only spend time with in the summertime and spring and Easter and stuff like that so yeah Baroness do all of her traveling and vacationing when it's cold and 
stuff like that. Elaine says Holly has uh, bad side effects from COVID. Uh, I know everybody. I didn't know. I know now. Thanks to you, and this is why we do the comments because you guys do tell me because I don't watch the news or stuff. If it didn't pop up in my email, I, I don't know. Like I didn't even know it was gonna be a hurricane in Florida. <laughs> I just went. I was like. Everybody leaving and I'm coming in. What's going on? Child bad. I just go with what I want to do. She says that's the reason you're seeing her sitting all the time. She's only on for a short time. I think Cody is giving Britt something to make her sick. He sure is doing something to make her sick. He came in with that sad breakfast and the poor baby couldn't even open her pills. Um, I, I, They got to wrap this up. It's hard to watch. Hey, Q Quebec in the house. Say, hey, Baroness Gladys is one of those. She, she's not new to this, but she's, I'm sorry. She's not new to this, but true to this, being a user big time. Okay, so you think that she's going, reverting back to her old ways and not just grieving. I always give people the benefit of the doubt till they show me otherwise. And I guess she have shown me otherwise just by taking that card from Miss Wu and calling herself a shareholder. You know you're not a shareholder, girl. You a guardian. It's a big difference. You don't know anything about that company. Gladys wouldn't be able to make company decisions and things like that. Okay, so the next comment is from Penny Weston, but Penny has like, it's like a whole lot of responses under it so just bear with me so penny starts it off and she says what oh, what they did with holly is just ridiculous it would have made more thank you i was waiting on this it would have made more sense for the attacks of lucy to be alex brought back from the dead now just where did, did they get the animas the costume store can't stand that victor either i don't like him either now he has done nothing but wreak havoc since he was brought back he gets away with too much he does he's getting away with a lot and i don't understand it <laughs> And now, Vicky is responding to Penny. She says, LOL, the mask had to come from the same place Caesar Faison got the Duke Lavery mask. So realistic, Anna couldn't tell it was a mask when being intimate with him. She, oh, my God, I forgot he was wearing a mask when they was touching these. Wasn't that ridiculous? Oh, fuck, good job, Vicky. I forgot about that. She says, again, unfortunately, Britt is leaving the show soon. Okay, so she's definitely leaving. Well, listen, I hope if she's leaving us that they don't kill her off. I hope they leave the door open for her to come back. Because, you know, Britt has came, you know, came and went. Hopefully not for long. I do like Austin and Britt together. Me too. Oh, come on, writers, man. Um, Deborah is responding. She says, this is up under, this is one reply. Y'all was really talking, girls, and I love it. She Deborah says, Gladys will lose Sasha Stocks and Lucy's company. Yeah, she will. That's what we want. Should, yeah, because if she does that, then will that drop the stocks? Or I guess she'll be able to just buy them or just win them in the car game, I guess. Has someone watched Gladys? I can't stand Cody. And if he's making Brit sick, he needs to go. Poor Mac. I know. If this jerk is his son, I hope no one tells him. And as for Elizabeth, she just jumps into one bad situation after another. Why would you want to get involved with Nicholas and his crazy plan? You know that situation isn't going to work, especially with Victor moving to Windermere. And now we know who shot Lucy late in the story, but we did suspect it was Holly just wondering who Victor has, her son or Jason. I don't think it's either. I think it's Luke. Because we know that Holly... Put it in the comments if I'm wrong. Holly has always been in love with Luke as well, right? I, I don't think she likes Robert in the same way that she likes, that he likes her. I think it's Luke. Because Luke, if we had to narrow it down, her son, Jason, or Luke, it would be more, it would be easier for the writers to bring Luke back. And it would make a lot more sense. I mean, I guess they could bring her son. We haven't seen Nathan in a long time. We know it's not Jason because the only way we'll get Jason is if it's a recast. And I really don't think we're ready for it. Put it in the comments. Let's talk about that. Are you guys ready for a recast of Jason? Steve Burton is happy on Days of Our Lives and Beyond Salem from what everybody is telling me in the comments. So let me know, would you be open to a recast of Jason or do you just want his character to stay gone? And the girls closed us out. Thank you for listening to me at 2.30 in the morning. If you are, I'm going to go ahead and get this out. And I'll catch you next time, Jen Hans.